Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to do those little kissy spots on the white markings on the nose. Um, I started this marking already. I basically laid out where I wanted it to go right now, so I haven't really done much yet. Um, so what you're gonna need is a white, a light pink, a dark pink, and a black. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna start with, hopefully I can keep this in camera, because I can't see with my new camera. We are going to start, let me see me a little, maybe, okay. Going to start with the light pink. And you just wanna put a very thin layer on where you want the marking to be. Now, I totally forgot I'm doing a kissy spot. So, you kind of want to try and avoid the kissy spot area that you want to put it. Uh, it's not a big deal if you don't. You can always put a black mark there and do it that way. But, you can try and avoid it in the beginning while you're doing this. Where you want that spot to go. Just kind of define it a little. We'll give him two little kissy spots here. And just keep be careful to keep your marking, you know, where you want it and refine it right. It's pretty dry in here, so things are drying really fast, which is kind of a downside. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's starting to lift where I've already been. So you've got your little area that you want to have your kissy spot in. Uh, the next step we're going to do is basically keep filling this in. Um, I'm going to go with the darker pink now. And we're going to go around those areas, kind of like how you do the mapping. You don't want to go all the way up to the line. Um, it's okay to be a little bit messy in this stage because you will clean it up. But you don't want any brush strokes. Streaks are okay, strokes are not. So now this is a pretty potent pink. Um, so we're going to have to tone it down a bit. So it's good for what we're using it for because we're going to go over this.
so now put that dry um, yeah I'm gonna let that dry Now we're going to take our light pink again, a very, very thin layer of it, so that it's pretty much transparent. And you kind of want to go over the whole thing. So it does take a little bit of back and forth. And yes, you go over the black marks that you left open. My paints are not behaving very well, so I'm trying the best I can to show you how I normally do this without creating too much of a disaster. Back in with that dark pink just to kind of refine these edges a little bit because they just don't look very good. So just refining these edges around the spots. Like so. So you can kind of see where it's going at this point. And, you know, you basically just repeat this um, until you have the marking that you want. And now when you take your black, and you use it just in the center of those dots where you want the dark skin to be showing through. And there you pretty much have it. Oh, let me get in the camera here. Um, this is obviously not perfect. I still have a lot of back and forth and tweaking to do, but that's the general way to do it. Uh, you just keep going back and forth and do it that way, and then you just want to refine your edges and, you know, get it to the right color and, and shape and stuff that you want it to. But um, that's it. Pretty simple. Um, and yeah, so like I said, still have to do a lot of work on that, but hopefully you get the idea of how to go about that. Um, and that's all. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See ya.